lesson for schools. Maybe if you can't beat them, join them. Some Chicago teachers are among the first in the nation to learn a new way to teach math. They're using textbooks imported from Singapore, where kids routinely outperform U.S. students in math. As Mike Parker reports, the books won't be enough. For two theta, it would double angle substitution. It's going to be one half this B, cosine alpha thirds equals one half sine of two alpha thirds. The complicated language of trigonometry. AC divided by AC, maybe. Slick, huh? For these students at Chicago's Whitney Young, it's a lot of fun. Oh, I love it. But for most American students, math is the toughest subject to learn. In a recent study of eighth graders in 41 countries, U.S. students ranked 28th. Number one, students in Singapore. So now math teachers like Anne-Marie Sherry are trying something new. They're using Singapore's textbooks. The Singapore textbook gets right to the point, and it has uh, simple illustrations that the students could develop themselves, uh, story problems that they can relate to. Although the Singapore books are not technically part of the curriculum at Whitney Young, Sherry uses them to supplement what is taught in the American texts. The Singapore method emphasizes problem solving instead of memorization and no calculators allowed. They might spend a half hour on one problem and then they say, I got it, and let me show you. Then they're, they're happy to show other students. Just how far ahead are the Singapore students? Sherry's advanced high schoolers are using textbooks aimed at sixth through eighth graders in Singapore. They're definitely doing better than we are. It makes us feel that we need to get a leg up and we need to start doing these problems. It helps you develop your math skills because the problems are challenging and it takes many steps to do them. Okay. So by the end, you feel, you feel rewarded by solving it. The textbooks are already in English, the language of instruction in Singapore. The only noticeable differences are in word problems where names and monetary units are Singaporean. So if it works so well in Singapore and in Ms. Sherry's class, why doesn't every American school use it? It's not realistic. Paul Sally is a math professor at the University of Chicago. He says it would take several years and $20 billion to train middle school teachers a new way of teaching math. Look, changing textbooks is fine. The question is, are the people who are delivering the goods going to be able to deliver the goods in the textbook? In these foreign countries where they score very highly on these international tests do a tremendous job of preparing teachers to teach mathematics in the middle grades. Which is exactly what Lori Braga has started to do. And right away these two look like perfect squares. She's teaching after school classes at UIC on the Singapore method. Her students are all teachers in the Chicago public schools. She believes patience is a key if U.S. schools are to adopt the Singapore method. They take much more time to make sure the students master the concepts. In our school system, we often don't have the luxury of all that time. We have to hurry up, get to the drill, get to the practice. One of Braga's students, eighth grade teacher Paul Clay, hopes someday he'll be teaching math in a different way. If they employ the program as it's presented in the text, the teacher's guide, there's absolutely that the kids will do much, much better. The students in Anne-Marie Sherry's class believe that's already happening for them. A world of improvement with help from half a world away. Mike Parker, CBS2, Chicago. At least one big city school system, Baltimore, is already using Singapore texts in its advanced math classes.